welcome to another questionable riding video by now hopefully um there's been a few videos out you guys been blowing them up i assume that's what i'm assuming i i i'm assuming the best from you gorgeous gorgeous subscribers um so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a kind of uh walk around of my z900 specifically the upgrades that i've done to the z900 um so there's two upgrades that i do regret getting um but for right now we're just going to go over them all um and then i'll point out the two that i'm kind of iffy about so first off we have these asv levers um that all black it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty thick lever um, they got this real dope uh, feature um, so they don't break. And what that is, is boom. Boom. So if you drop the bike, boom. It's just going to flex out the way. It's not going to break as long as it's in this direction. If it goes, you know, up and down, then, uh, you know, it's probably going to snap off. Um, the second upgrade that I kind of did... Um, I did these LED lights. Um, let me get those on for you. Yeah. This bike does have hazards, which is a pretty pretty cool uh, feature. Because um, not all bikes have hazards. But um, the stock ones, they go out pretty far. Um, I think it has the name on here because I did forget. TST. Uh, TST LED lights. They're a lot smaller than the, the stock Shrek lights. Um that were originally on there uh let me go ahead turn that off um got the levers got the led lights uh the second upgrade that i did um you're getting ahead of yourself don't look over there um was these tank pads now i know that they are tank pads but because i'm a shorter rider at five eight my knee uh doesn't naturally rest here so i had to get um some tank grips tank pads whatever you want to call them um to help me grip onto this bike because with the engine braking and whatnot the accelerating d cells um my knee kind of slides on this so what i did was put the tank pads here on this lower part because this is where my knee naturally rests and it helps me grab onto the bike which if you don't know um your hands aren't what keep you on this bike, more or less. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they help, but majority of what's kind of keeping you gripped onto a motorcycle is this tank pad, or um, is your knees. So um, I wanted to get some grip to help me uh, hold onto the bike a little bit better. The next uh, upgrade that I had was this quad lock. Um, see, it allows me to put my phone on there, boom, bow. So when I'm wandering around, and I do wander around, um, probably gonna have a few videos that I wander around a lot. Um, I just kinda put the GPS on there. Um, this is a bar one. If you have a sportier bike, you're able to put it on there. Um, it's, it's in this area, but um, my ignition is my ignition key is right there so i can't do that so this is a bar one boom bow so the next upgrade i did is this sc project exhaust it is the crt sc project exhaust um it's carbon fiber and it came with a carbon fiber heat shield uh it is meant to be the loudest SC project exhaust uh, slip on that they have. So I was really excited to get this. Uh, we're gonna circle back to that. And then we also have this fender eliminator here. Everything's been chopped off. So it came out to about here. It was real ugly and it also had those Shrek ears. Now you're probably asking, yo Q, there's no turn signal on the back. I ain't going, I got you. But first, I'm gonna talk about the spoolies. Um, so I need a spoolie so I can lift up my bike and lube up my chain because the best way to lube up your chain is to lift up the, the back and rotate the tire 
and while you're rotating the tire you can clean the chain you can you can spray the chain you can do um i think you i want to say this is also how you change the tire i haven't changed a motorcycle tire before car tires all the time but motorcycle tires i've never i've never done it before so this is so you can lift up the rear of your bike move your tire and lube up your chain um i'm gonna do a separate video on it's probably gonna be a really quick one on to how you can lube up your chain if you don't have a spoolie so um let me know in the comments if you want to see something like that because um they are cheap the actual spoolies but the rear stands are kind of expensive they're like 100 plus or something like that all right let's get back to turn signals jesus all right so we're gonna do left boom left turn signal left turn signal right and i gotta show you the right one right turn signal right and what's a um pretty good feature about this let me turn it off pretty good feature about this uh tst style of brake is that let me see if my legs are long enough when you press the brake it flashes so the rear brake flashes whenever you brake um and that's i i personally wanted to get that so uh, when i'm out on the road and whatnot but when i'm on the road and i'm braking um other drivers will see that it's pretty it's, it's pretty bright at night so other drivers will see that and they'll slow it down uh though yeah they'll slow it down um and the reason i believe that works well first of all i do i did this anyway um i tapped so now it's just something that i don't have to do it's automatic um and the reason that i believe this works is because when police are behind you what are the lights red blue and i think it's some white and so when i believe drivers see that they're gonna be like oh wait a second hold on is that the boys in blue buttholes gonna pucker up and they're gonna be like i need to pay attention oh snap it's not the boys in blue it's a bike rider in front of me so let me stop so that's why i got that i thought it was a pretty cool feature so i was like let me get that bad boy all right now the sc project exhaust i know you guys are so excited to hear this bad boy the loudest slip on exhaust that sc project has but wait there's more <laughs> Yeah, it's not that loud. Let me tell you why. Now, why, while this is a little bit louder than stock, it's not saying much um, because most of that noise was actually coming from the engine and not the exhaust. So, with the Z900, the problem is, is that this guy has two mufflers. The first one is this big guy that's normally here that i replaced i thought that would make the bike exponentially louder that's a big word for Elmo. because it has the sc project crt slip-on exhaust i wanted this thing to scream because stock this bike is extremely quiet the second one is this bread box underneath here i don't know if i can get a good look at it but maybe that'll frame it it's right there it's this big box right here it's not the cat it's the it's the bread box which is um a primary muffler uh that's where most of the sound is going to be muffled on your bike now this one is huge um on other motorcycles i've seen them a lot smaller but this one is huge which makes me think that kawasaki wanted the z900 to be extremely quiet wanted it to be a quiet bike um I don't have any gripes with that because that's that's how they designed it i just didn't know that uh, which is why i'm sharing it with you guys because i hope you know you guys going a little bit more informed than i did again this bike was whisper quiet what is this bro stock 
like most people i wanted to replace the the big exhaust to see if i can get that unmuffled and it's still pretty muffled so what i'm gonna do is look into taking that bread bread box off so we can get a really nice sound i don't want a full exhaust because i don't want to flash this thing um yet i don't want to flash it yet um but i don't want to do the full exhaust right now so um there's something about a, a mid pipe on there but i did say that there were two things that i regretted about this that was the first one i didn't know before that this thing had two mufflers and that i would need to take off both mufflers to get the real sound from this bike um and the second is I'm gonna post a picture, hopefully, right here, of what the stock um, lights look like. The idle light is a Z, which was really cool. Um, but unfortunately, when I replaced it, this when I re replaced it, words. Uh, when I replace this tail light, um, I thought it was just gonna be a light thing, like they were gonna reconfigure some lights and whatnot. But no they actually took out the stock lights i don't think this is the i don't think this is the same tail light piece um again it's it's, it's tst i want to say it's the same guys who made this yeah so it's tst lights um so what they did was they reconfigured the whole thing so the z's gone so yeah those were like the two things that i was really um I'm not going to say upset. Upset's a, a, a strong word, but I was a little disappointed that one, this $600 piece of exhaust wasn't, um, didn't really make my bike any louder. Uh, well, I'm sure, I'm sure it did, but it wasn't, it wasn't as loud as I wanted it to be. Um, and the rear tail light, the Z's gone. This has been another video of questionable riding. Yes. I mean, though we didn't ride on this this video but oh yeah i settled on a name her name is angelina i think it fits right oh also i got cruise control cruise control here for for highways um but yeah this is angelina in all her glory all right guys i'll see you on another video uh cue out